to demonstrate the paired samples t-test in SPSS. In this case we have 15 items that we're monitoring in terms of sales before advertising and after advertising. So to do this analysis we're going to go to Analyze, Compare Means, come down here to Paired Samples t-test. We're going to have to hold the control key down. We click before advertising and after advertising. Then we release the control key and we move both these in as a pair. Click OK. We get the results of our analysis. Before advertising the sales are about 24 on average. After advertising the sales are about 28 on average. You notice that there are 15 items in both of these things. You also notice there's a correlation between those two things. That's why they're known as paired items. They're probably correlated. The difference between the two averages is about four points and that difference over here we'll see the t value of negative 4.104 and its associated significance value. That difference is statistically significant, meaning that sales went up in a statistically real way from before to after advertising. Now we're also going to demonstrate the paired t-test using a different data set. This is Sarah's data. Here we're going to compare pre-heart rate levels to post-heart rate levels in an experiment that was conducted. So we will do the same thing, analyze, compare means paired samples t-test. We're going to have to move down here to heart rate pre, push down the control key again, heart rate post, move this over, say OK. Come down here to our output, our second paired t-test analysis. Shows us that at pre-test the heart rate level was 73.85. At post-test it was 72.8. A hundred people included in each of these. A fairly good correlation but much smaller than you saw previously. The difference is about 1.05 units in terms of blood pressure. I'm sorry, in terms of heart rate that is. T-value is 2.182 and the significance level is 0.03. Again, there's a significant drop in heart rate from pre to post-test.